Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. If you don't know who I am, go ahead and take a look through my channel and consider subscribing and clicking the notification because we are lit over here, okay? So I wanted to start off the new year with letting you guys know the different type of videos and content that will be coming to my channel. This will be my 2020 freaking planner. Now, I recently learned about freaking planning through a lot of planner babes. And even though I'm not a planner channel, I wanted to show you guys how I feel like I'm going to keep up with my life a whole lot better during 2020. So I did pick up this happy planner. It's your year to shine. And I did put, I want to say, four different planners into one. Four. So I'm just going to quickly flip through and let you guys know how I am coming for 2020. I am coming for your next. So if you want to see how I freaking planned my planner for this year, just continue to watch. Okay, you guys, so as I flip open, you're going to see Hello Dreamer, and I put my name in it already. This is a happy planner. I did tell you guys that these gold discs are the expanded disc from Happy Planner. I think I picked these up at Michael's. I like the fact that it has the year at a glance, 2020 and 2021. I am going to go in and highlight certain dates and stuff that I need to remember. And then we have this layout, which I think is so cute. I need another one. I think I'm just going to take this and make copies on my printer so that I can use this for another section in this planner. But this year at a glance written down, I am going to write down like birthdays or important dates or something like that that I could keep up with and it has all months. And then of course this page says hello January and it gives you the two important dates that are automatically in your yearly planner, which I think this is pretty cool as well. But I think on this side, I am going to kind of like map out, give myself like a certain type of vision board for the month. I really want to do a, a vision board, but I'm still watching plenty of videos to see exactly how vision boards go and exactly what my non-creative mind will take me. So I think I'm going to do like monthly vision boards. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking for this section because I don't have anything else that I want to do with this section. I mean, I can do like other Franken planners and glue this section to this section, but I like that this section for January says this is my year. So I'm not for sure. I think I'm going to keep it as a vision board type of thing, monthly vision board. So I do have a lot, a lot, a lot of Happy Planner sticker books as well as Recollections um, sticker books as well as Etsy sticker kits and all that stuff. So a few years ago, if you guys remember back in my channel, I think I did a video on how I took some of the Happy Planners and made it into an actual flip through book. Me and my mom are like really, really, really into the stickers for the planners. And we didn't like carrying all the 50 million books around. So we decided to make like a book in its own with many different stickers to go on it. And we could pack that around. So I did take a few stickers that like kind of pertain to me and I'm not saying kind of which they do pertain to me in my life right now at this moment and I'm just gonna switch them out here and there to use as the months go along or try to use up all the stickers that I can because I have a lot I did send a lot of stickers to my girl E. Michelle plans because I was just not using those stickers so I had sent her a big box that was like maybe a year or two ago 
and I still have a whole lot and there's still a whole lot that I want to go buy but I need to use up some of these stickers and like the girls night out and stuff like that hanging out with friends I don't have friends that I even hang out with shopping day lunch dates and stuff like that I don't have that but I do and we do have family nights and game nights and movie nights so I'm gonna use this for the month and the weeks so I decided to pull out a couple of those and like I said, I will have them switched out as I feel needed. So for the first month, and y'all, my planner is a work in progress. I'm gonna tell you guys now. We're still working this planner out and trying to get it to where I actually feel comfortable and you know, well adjusted to what I need. So the first month, we have January planned out. Now, what I can tell you guys is that I did start off back in October, November-ish. I always go and get a new planner before my previous planner runs out. And at the time that I did go and get a new planner for this year, I accidentally picked up a Happy Planner classic size dashboard layout. And you guys will see the dashboard layout. I did try it and I was like, you know what, let's try it because at the time that was the only planner that I seen in Michaels at the moment. So I picked it up because I absolutely needed a planner because my previous planner was running out on that month that I went and picked up the new planner. So I tried it. I tried it, you guys. I tried to give it a fair shot but I could not make it work. So I went to another Michaels and I found this bad boy and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this because this is what I'm used to. I'm really used to the recollections, but I don't like that the recollections does not have removable pages and stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna pick up the Happy Planner again. I'm gonna pick up the vertical layout because that's what I'm used to. The dashboard was just a little too small for my liking. I could not fit everything that I wanted in and all that good stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick this up and we're going to start over. So here we are starting over. In the first one, in the first Happy Planner for the dashboard, all of January was already filled out. So instead of me wasting that book, I decided to use that dashboard layout in another section of this planner so that I wouldn't feel like I'm wasting my money. But the things that I already had planned out for January in the dashboard layout, I went ahead and switched it over to this vertical layout. And so far, the only thing I have planned out right now is my steps. I'm not doing no healthy journey mix or trying to lose weight or any of that type of stuff. But my phone has a step tracker and I track my steps every freaking day. So I decided to write them down for the full day. I will weigh in on the first of the month and then I will weigh in on the last day of the month. And I'm just gonna write down my steps and see how, you know, how well I'm doing in my steps. Now I was gonna do a water tracker and all that, but I think I am gonna go in and do it, but I won't do it for every single day. I'm gonna kind of pace myself with the water intake because I'm not really good at water intake at all. So I think I'm just gonna mark like certain days of the month to like really focus in on water for that particular day. We will be starting to do family nights, me, my wife, and my two boys. I decided to do family nights and stuff because I know this year I will be focusing in on social media and YouTube really hard. I have it mapped out and it's going to be a lot of work. So I need to make time for my kids and my family. So we will have game nights once a month, not including like if we just decide to go to the movies that day or if we just decide to go out that day. None of that includes. I know I need to make sure to have some quality time with my family at least once a month. But we're together every single day of the month. We do homework, we do sports and all that stuff. So just to have something that doesn't have to do with sports 
or fundraisers or school events and stuff we need to have a day to ourselves and we're gonna switch it out for game night movie night dinner you know something fun and something for the kids to do and i've already marked down kpl two dollar tuesdays and scribble prince code two dollar tuesdays now i don't even know if they still have two dollar tuesdays but i remember having these stickers i have like three sheets of each of these and i need to go in and check with the etsy and see if they still honor two dollar tuesdays and if they do i'm just gonna pick up a few things that's on kpl's two dollar tuesday and scribble prints code that's just what that is and i don't even know why i put it here because i do have a social media section but i guess this will be fine for now I'm not tripping. My son's phone bill will be due. He just got a phone for Christmas. If y'all haven't seen, um, if y'all haven't seen what they got for Christmas, go check it out because he did get a phone. So I wanted to mark that his phone bill, his first phone bill will be due on the 27th. This should be actually in the budget planner, which is totally separate from this planner because me and my wife decided to use to really get serious on budgeting this year so this should have been over there but i guess this is okay for me that's just for my brain um we did get the elaine michelle plans budget printables and we have our budget printables in a whole nother section with our cash envelopes and our sinking funds we have that in a whole nother section of our house that we keep as just budgeting and stuff like that so that would not be in here if i need to reference back to any type of budgeting in this planner i would just go to that planner and look at it and maybe write it down here but we have started off really good so i don't think i'm gonna have to do any budgeting in here and if i do i will just mark in my weekly to take a look I will put like a note, take a look at budgeting. You know what I'm saying? So I know the reference to that budgeting book. So I think that's how we're gonna do it. I just signed up for Canva Pro, um, which is $12.95. This should be in another section, but I just did that yesterday. So I'm doing a 30 day uh, free trial right now. So this, I wrote it in pencil so I could erase this and put it in another section of this planner but this is how it's actually looking for the month i'm not completely finished with setting up the month i do have um sticky notepads and all that in the back of this planner so that i can use that instead of writing in pen if it's not for certain i can use the sticky notes and move them around however i like i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with the note section if you guys would like for me to do some type of some sort of check-in to see how the planning is going let me know because i'm pretty sure i won't be doing like weekly plan with me in my planner here on my channel but if you guys want it let me know i'll bring it because you guys know i want my channel to be versatile i want it to be all kind of things and not just focused in on beauty even though i am a beauty channel i like to do a lot of mishmashing and you know giving you guys options to watch different things on my channel so i did go ahead and set up my first week which today is the 30th and as you can tell and i'm showing you guys this because i haven't really put down any hard concrete information <laughs> i haven't did that so i could show you guys this so for right now on the 30th i do have check my budget so that's what i mean by reference to that book i got check my budget so i could go to my budget book and look at it and see what's going on um i have film and upload I'm not writing what I'm filming or what I'm uploading because I have a section in here that we will get to that is going to reference to that. But if I see film and upload, I need to go to that section and see what I'm filming and uploading for that day. This video here will not go up on the first neither, but I have a video that's coming up on the first and I have a video that's coming up on the third. So you guys will, you know, see that. My upload dates is always going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday 
at 6 p.m. My beauty page, I will be going live 8 a.m. every Tuesday. So if you guys want to mark that down in your calendars and look down below in my hot box and go follow my beauty page on Facebook, go do so now because I plan to go live every Tuesday on Facebook at 8 a.m. But I will go live at, on Instagram on Saturdays. Every Saturday, I will go live on Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram, check down below. All my social medias are down below. Go follow me now. I don't know exactly the time for Instagram because normally on Saturdays and Sundays, my kids do have sports and we do have games. But because we don't have games right now until starting February, I could pick any time. And nine times out of ten, once sports start up again, it will be later on in the evening that I will be going live on Instagram. And then on Sundays, Sundays will be a bonus video for my YouTube channel because I will be going live on YouTube on Sundays. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, y'all will see some kind, of, some kind of content from your girl. And then on Sundays, we will be live on YouTube. So now we're gonna go into our social media tab. And like I said, I have January through December in my personal catch-all planner. And at the back, I just put two little note sheets to use just in case if I need it, as well as some of these focus half sheets. You know, the half sheets which I have it every month, I believe. So we do have a section called social media and I have three months of social media right here in front of me. So this is the Happy Planner dashboard layout that I was talking to you guys about earlier and this is where I could not get it to work. Um, I did take out the other ones already. I did take out the other ones already, but everything was so bunched up. I will write in this dashboard layout and then won't ever come back to it because it was just all so bunched up and trying to keep up with every single thing. It just wasn't working for me. So, like I said, instead of wasting my money, I just I decided to I decided to make it a social media planner. As you can tell, we already have things written down because like I said, this was the actual planner to begin with and after watching a whole bunch of other people planning and i'm still watching it um i decided you know what let's make this the social media section of the planner and it should work out better for me so where i have all these color coded highlights at is where i was everything in red is an ig post everything in pink is a live post Everything in orange is a YouTube upload. Yellows are date nights. Blues is family nights. So my top priorities right here are to keep up with posting every day on Instagram and stick with my live schedule. So this is the half sheets I was talking to you guys about. This is all my video ideas. I post three times a week. So that... Okay, you guys, I'm back. Sorry. Y'all know I'm a mother and school is out right now. So my kid jumped in here looking for his new cell phone. So anyways, like I was saying, I upload three times a week. So for the whole month, uploading three times a week, I need to have for this month a total of 14 videos. So this is where I'm telling you guys, a lot of my planning has not been concrete, set in stone, or anything like that. But I did want to show you guys how I kind of color coordinated it, which I'm not going to keep like these stripes. I'm probably going to highlight the box. It makes it look a little bit more neater. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the jingle bell. There y'all go. So like I was saying, you guys, I think color coordinating in a box makes it look a little bit better instead of these long stripes and stuff. But this section will not be my catch-all planner. This section each month will only be social media. 
So I think that would be better for me and it'll make more sense to my brain. I think at the time that I was doing it, it made sense to my brain, but now it's like, okay, girl, what you got going on? So that's just what this is. And I did purposely write in pencil so that I could erase and move it around. But like I told you guys, I will be using sticky notes instead so that I won't even have to erase. I could just move them around. And the same thing that I wrote on this list is the same thing I wrote in these boxes. Inside of my list, I put the dates that I actually want those videos to go up. And some of them have already changed. My lineup has already changed, but I have the concept of what I actually want. So let's flip over to the weekly. We're gonna slide this back in real quick. We're gonna switch over to the weekly and once again, this was set up as a catch all, <laughs> but we're no longer doing that, but I'm not gonna waste my money and you know, throw this out or anything like that. We're gonna keep it exactly the way it is. So on this side with the dashboard layout, we have errands to buy, to clean, bills to pay, and focus. I'm actually gonna change every last one of these boxes. To buy may stay the same if I have to buy anything pertaining to social media and YouTube. So with the week, I actually want to, on Mondays, I upload. On Mondays, I want to upload, so I'm going to put what video I upload that day, what video I upload this day. Every single day, it's going to be an upload, it's going to be an Instagram post, or whatever it may be. Facebook, Instagram, it all goes in this section, and because I only have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat, which you guys see my Snapchats, I am trying to get better at all of my social media this year i'm trying to get better so that's the whole mindset this here is just a map out before i actually write on here that's what these half sheets are about i map it out and then i write it on here as the week goes on or how i plan it to go but this is a very good sheet to show you guys this weekly layout is really good to show you guys because I actually did upload Instagram film, upload Instagram film. Like that's what it's supposed to look like and I'm gonna add in um, my Snapchat. So that's how my social media is set up and at the back of my social media section, I did see someone use their bill, their budget expense tracker for their YouTube and their social media tracker. So if they buy anything for social media, they write it down here and of course use it just as a budget thing. But at the same time, this is a good way to keep up when it comes down to your taxes. That's how my mind worked. As well as project pages. So <clears throat> this is like the brain dump section. If I want to write out something that I need or a video I feel that I need to brain dump on, I have the inspiration. I have the sketches and ideas, which I don't draw or anything. So I would list out the things, the project, supplies that I got on hand, supplies that I need to purchase and the cost, and then the details. And I got project due so that I could put a due date on when I want to actually film and upload that actual brain dump. So that is the social media section. Next we have the home section. And you guys, I've been dying to have this because I tried when, I'm just gonna turn back to this empty page. I tried to use this dashboard layout when it was my catch-all. I didn't know what to put on this Monday through Sunday. So I tried to put the bathrooms and my chore list here. But once I wrote it here, I never came back to it because once again, everything was so cluttered and bunched up that I just, I wrote everything down and never came back to it. So I was like, you know what? When I seen the home section at Michael's, I was like, oh my God, this is what I need. 
and I actually love it. Now, they did have a budget section that goes in between here, but like I said, it's no point in me having the budget section when we already got our own budget section. The home section is just what I needed, you guys. Oh my God, I was so happy to freaking see this. And it made sense to me, it made sense to my brain. So you got your daily chores, which it gave you ideas and description of what should be done for the daily chores like make your bed establish this daily habit will ensure your rest easy at the end of a long day and then you have your weekly chores now your weekly chores could be done in my brain you could do your daily chores and then at the end of the week you could do your daily chores on top of your weekly chores and your weekly chores is your bathrooms kitchen floors outdoors surface and glass bedrooms and household so example for your weekly chores you want to make sure in the bathroom you clear clutter you clean the shower or the tub slop, shower slash tub and you do your mirrors you scrub the sink the faucet the toilet the mop mop the floor the waste basket stock paper up and change towels you do this every single week and you will fall if you keep the, if you keep it up you will fall into a, a mental noted habit and it will automatically come to you and then you have your monthly chores which they give you an idea and they give you extra space if you need to add to it so for the monthly chores you have your bedding you got clean your baseboards your rugs your furniture trash can kitchen cabinets walls windows switch covers clean the fridge, purge your clothing items, appliances, outdoor space. So with your bedding, you wanna wash your bedding and your blankets and sheets and stuff. Clean your baseboards, you wanna vacuum, brush attachment, and wipe down the baseboards, which is awesome because when you actually deep clean in my mind, in my house, but normally when I clean, I deep clean, but I always forget to clean the baseboards. So if I, constantly do this on a monthly basis this will become repetitive to me and automatically stick out to me that when I'm deep cleaning oh yeah I'm gonna clean the baseboards too and then you have your week to week monthly to weekly to daily chores so I did start mine from the 30th to the 5th because this is what we're on as of currently so on Mondays, it gives you the daily chores and it gives you four weeks of your daily chores and then it gives you the weekly chores and then it gives you your monthly chores. So this is how my brain works. For this week, you get four weeks, remember. For this week, and it gives you extra space to add anything. So for this week, on Monday, which is today, I'm going to make the beds, meal prep, wash dishes, wipe the counters, clean the kitchen table. I'm going to declutter. And when it says declutter, I'm just going to pick a section in the house and quickly declutter it. I'm already doing laundry. So I don't have a pen right now, but I'm already doing laundry. And let's go back to right here because on the daily chores under laundry is a do one complete load per day that's wash dry iron fold and put away so that will be a complete chore if you complete every bit of this and then you'll be able to check this off every last one of these and you're going to come down here to your weekly chore and it says week one week two week three week four I love it. So once you're done with this section and you're on Sundays and you're doing all this, you're gonna come down here to week one and you're gonna dust your house, vacuum and wash floors, you're gonna clean mirrors and glasses, you're gonna change your sheets, you're gonna declutter a public place, which in my mind, you pick a spot that you wanna declutter that actually shows in your house. Not something like your closet because you nobody goes to your closet all the time. But you do want to, I'm going to say, like my entertainment center in my living room. I need to declutter that space because that's what people see. And then you want to clean your bathrooms. You want to wipe down appliances. You want to scrub your sink. You want to tidy up your closet. You want to clean out the fridge. You want to tidy and organize the pantry. You want to sort through your mail and pay your bills. And then it gives you two extra spots if you want to add something to it.
on this fourth week on a Sunday and this fourth week of the weekly chore, you want to do all of these four things. I mean, all of these things on this Sunday on the fourth week, as well as the weekly chore on the week four. You want to do all these things, all these things, and then you want to jump over to your monthly chore. So on this Sunday of this week, you're going to have uh, the very last week, you're going to have a lot to do, but you will start the new month off very, very fresh. So once you're done doing all of these things on Sunday and doing all these things on the fourth week, you're going to come over here to washing your bedding, vacuum, wash baseboards and rugs. You want to clean your fans and fixtures, which I never freaking do. You want to vacuum and clean out furniture, which I rarely do. You want to polish your wood floors, which I barely do. You want to clean your trash cans, which I do. Wipe down your kitchen cabinetry. Clean the window seals and switch covers, which I rarely do. Collect and deliver donation items, don't do. Clean the top of the fridge, washer and dryer, awesome. And then you want to go with your outdoor spaces like your garage, your patio, your deck. Now, I do have a garage and patio. I don't really keep anything on the patio, but, you know, with the seasons and me living in apartments, I could stand to go out there and sweep the patio and make sure everything looks tidy and neat. And with the garage, this garage is my beauty room. So I could clean, deep clean this once every freaking month. And you also get three extra spaces to add on. But the next section will be the meal plans. And I actually like this. My wife was on me about my weekly meal prep. She said that it actually was going good and smooth when I was doing it, like maybe a year ago. And she wanted me to bring it back. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm glad that this home planner came with it because it actually gives you the common kitchen substitutions and you know a quick reference for and it has the ingredients and the substitution to make certain things and then you have your weekly meal plans and your grocery list and it comes front and back you could get snacks and quick bites to add on for that week as well as recipe and meal prep so if you need to write down a quick recipe for some things that you need and a grocery list for some things that you need. And my sister was like, oh my God, I would not take this whole planner to the store and all that good stuff because her mind, if she writes down a grocery list, she takes a picture of the grocery list on her phone and then go to the store. Where in my mind, if I'm taking this weekly meal plan and I'm plan it out and write down my grocery list and you know the recipe and the quick snacks and stuff i'm gonna take this one full page and then go to the grocery store so the last section is the journal section now the journal section is something me and my sister came up with i won't speak too much on it but obviously i'm gonna be journaling and then this journaling is gonna turn into something else and that's just what it is so i got a whole bunch of happy notes and no section just a few to start off with and i wrote january first so that i know that starting the new year i need to start journaling and that will be it for my 2020 franken plan so you guys let me know what you think is this a good idea is it too much i feel like it's gonna work out fine for me this is gonna be the first year that i'm gonna try to franken plan instead of having every single bit of my life in a catch-all planner i feel like sectioning it out and making it you know move around in certain sections it would work better for me and my brain but you guys let me know uh, as well as let me know if you guys would like for me to do like update check-ins and you know stuff like that or if y'all want me to bring week to week planning back to my channel i tried it a few years ago you guys weren't into it so i stopped doing it and just was planning on my own so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little longer than what i thought it would be but i'm sorry i just really wanted to give y'all in-depth details of how my brain is gonna work this year 
and how I want to keep myself sane for this year. So hopefully you guys don't mind. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by rating this video. I'm excited that it's 2020. I won't say that this year is my year, but my planner says it is your year to shine. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And you guys know my favorite loyal subscriber always tells me to keep shining and keep growing and you guys know that is my slogan for my channel so until next time i want y'all to keep shining and i will catch y'all in the next one deuces